This is it, guys. Drop the bomb when the targeting lights converge. Oh my god, we've actually got searchlights here. This is scary. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Bama Crew. Now, I'm not sure if we can rename the crew. Let's go ahead and change the paint here. Percy the Pigeon. Wow, we've got a lot of these opened up now. Tiger Force White seems pretty cool. London Bus Red is also pretty cool. It's not, is this as bright? is what we had in the past. Well, we've got a flying pig icon here. Let's go ahead and get out of this whole Halloween theme for now. We've got 7,330 pounds. This is gonna be good. All right, so the cool thing is, is we can rename our crew Baron Von Toasty. I'm gonna be the pilot here. Look at me in all of my glory and regalia. Now, we're gonna be renaming crew members one by one. So Cold Cyan was saying that we should rename crew names from the comments that I like. So let's see, who is kind of like, this guy's been with us a while, just like Cold Cyan has been pretty helpful with us, so Cyan, I guess you're gonna be a lady, you know what? I guess I'm choosing your gender for you here. <laughs> but I don't think I can change that. Yeah, so I can I can just do names. But you are a comedian, and you're from Middleton, and you're only 20 years old. So what we're gonna be doing in the future is renaming crew members. So if you leave a really helpful comment, or just a really funny comment, and it's got tons of upvotes, you know, you're more than likely to be chosen as a crew member. Ooh, and apparently, apparently, I can rename, or rather reskill a few of my people, which is great. All right, so I'm pretty sure that my engineer here, he's going around and repairing everything. He's gonna be running around. He'll probably also have to do first aid. Now this one is our map maker, so maybe map maker as well. We could have you be an engineer as your backup. And then we've got Mr. C. Boyle. Now I'm not entirely sure, I feel like I don't know where he is. I wish it told me which gunnery installation he was at. That's one thing I would definitely change is because they start here, right? So let's see. Mr. C. Boyle and Mr. C. Hill. Or is it Mrs. C. Hill? Mrs. C. Hill and Mr. C. Boyle. Christine Hill here has first aid as the backup, so we're gonna have you as an engineer. Maybe you can fix things depending on where you are. And Mr. Checker who's also got a gunner as a secondary. Okay, that seems pretty good. Oh wow, look at this vest. I'm definitely gonna buy that for myself here to keep me alive. I gotta stay alive to fly this plane. Now we've got 6,830. So before we decide what we wanna do, let's go ahead and check the mission briefings to kind of have an idea of what we're gonna be seeing today. Oh, the bouncing bomb test run. We're planning a big raid on a hydroelectric dam. This is your chance to get grips with this new type of bomb before the big day. This is the bouncing bomb. This is going to be so exciting. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to get this little test mission over. This is going to be really, really cool because historically it was one of the most like, look at this. This is the bomb. Let's, let's see if we can't, I guess we could see it when we take off, but this is just so freaking cool. Like it is literally a giant like barrel bomb that is supposed to bounce on the water and hit a dam. If this is going to be based off history, which I highly, I do believe it will be. Now, I'm pretty sure that luckily for me, we're not gonna have to open the bomb bay. I think it's just gonna be ready to go. Now let's go ahead and raise our gear. But yeah, let's go ahead and get Checker into this because this is gonna be a testing, right? I don't need to worry about fuel. All right, so let's see. Take photo, bomb selection, the bouncer. Oh my god, this is... Okay, reached low altitude. I, do, I have no idea how we're going to be doing this because historically we have to be very low. I think even lower than technically low altitude. We might learn a new maneuver. We might have a, a new way of flying. I have no idea. This is crazy. But look at that. Look at that, boys. We've got the flying pig here. Oh, I, re I need to rename the plane after this to uh, Flammy's suggestion was Plainy McPlain face. <clears throat> Even though I said, do not vote that one. So leave your comments below as to what we should name it for the next episode. Remember that we're also going to be renaming crew in each episode. And as people die, they will, they will need to be replaced. And you will be always remembered. We will never forget you. Oh, you know what we didn't do? I need to make this a habit is uh, reloading because they start with two bands or belts of ammo and you can have three. So it'd just be better to do it that way. Okay, tag the target to begin the bomb run. You should start the run at low altitude. That is what we're doing. And we've got Mr. Checker, our bombardier here. Look at this, Vontos. probably the best pilot in all of the world. All right, here we go. 
We've got... As you approach the dam, look for the targeting lights in the bomb aimer's sight. Release the bomb when the targeting lights converge. Alright, we're approaching the target from a little bit of a different angle. Oh, here we go. Okay. Whoa. Better watch out for that hill, sir. It's like way over that by. Plenty of feet. I don't know what this whole lights converge. When the lights converge. Does that mean like the searchlights on top of this decoy dam? Look at that. That's a very interesting little beach there. Okay. Lights converge. Lights converge. When the lights converge. I don't know what that means. Oh. <gasps> oh. Let's see if that's close enough. Oh my god, it's bouncing. Oh my god. We did it. Holy crap. Okay, now I get it. All right, get up to your... That was so freaking cool. Looks like a successful test to me. Good show, old sport. Thank you, Commander Biggins. We've just lost contact with a Spitfire Patrol on the channel. See if you can locate them, but keep your eyes peeled for the enemy. Wait a minute, that's not good. I wasn't expecting this. Holy goodness! BF-109s, Messerschmitts! Oh, good. We've knocked out at least one of them. Is that a fire on the engine? All right, hold on. How do I put this out again? There we go, I think we put it out. Oh, what are those? Oh, they were just, I thought those were twin engines for a second. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing? Okay, there. Okay, we gotta what? Take a photograph of this. All right, checker, you're gonna have to get down here, son. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to identify them. Spot Spitfires. Oh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. And there's a photo opportunity over here. I'm gonna need an auto tag with my cyan here. Go ahead and auto tag because there's a lot of enemies. Checker, I, I don't know. How close is this? Oh, we've got to repair that, don't we? Checker, you gotta get back down there. Beasley, repair. All right, checker is ready to go. We're gonna snap this photo and get the heck out of dodge, boys. Okay, we've got an engine fire. I've got to deal with. All right, let's get out of here, boys. Okay, come on. We're not going down like this, man. Yes, put it out. Okay, fantastic. How are we doing on ammunition? You've got two belts. You've got one belt. Should be enough, though, for now. Who needs to be healed? Checker, get back up to your gun. Oh, man, look how close those were. Where's their freaking... Oh, clear the area of enemies. Okay, fantastic. We can do that. We're close enough to the channel, so we could do an emergency dive. What is this target? Oh, that's the the old target. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, now we gotta return to the base. Let's go ahead and see where that is. Return to base now. I think at this point, I might want to go lean on fuel. That was pretty close. Oh, you know what I realized is we still have these stupid pumpkins. So, if we're gonna be doing this mission now, what's going to happen is the enemy, like this enemy position is gonna be incredibly well defended. And we're gonna have to be ready for that. So first things first, we gotta take off these stupid pumpkins. We need to rename the plane. We need to upgrade it, which I believe I think we could go with some better engines. And maybe some, we're gonna look at defensive armaments, see if we can't upgrade that as well. Or maybe armor. One of the two, either defensive weaponry or armor. Get me over to 10,000. Yes, I'm over 10,000. That just unlocked this new engine for me. Oh wow, we did pretty good. We got 13,000? This is great. This is excellent. We're gonna be able to upgrade this plane in considerable fashion. And that is what we're going to do. So, do we level up anybody? It was a relatively straightforward mission. Here we go, a new skill. Two new skills, incendiary ammunition. Now, I forgot if Christine was where she was. If she, you know, which gunner? I, I need to learn that. But effective for duration, great against all fighters, does not deplete normal ammo. Incendiary ammo would be really good. Okay, we've got inflatable dinghies, homing pigeons, more engines, and some oxygen, which I, I think since we're not doing like high altitude bombing yet, we don't necessarily need that. So let's go ahead and see where this briefing is, see what the, uh, you know, difficulty of it is. Oh my god. 
High risk. There's no enemy aces in the area, though. I think we might have to do the Dusseldorf Flak Shell Factory Raid. Because it'll decrease enemy flak, so I could go ahead and breeze through that. And then get to Operation Chastise. Chastise. Chast- Chast- Chastise. It's the Chastise! No, I think it's Chastise. We're gonna chastise those Germans! So I need to rename it here. You guys, I cannot believe this. Plainy McPlain face. And I'm gonna make it stars because I'm American and this is the American Roundel for aircraft. So I'm like fighting as a volunteer for the Royal Air Force here. All right, so we did upgrade, look at this, our, we, we don't have a lot of weight left. So, but I do have Armored Engine Mark IVs. They are an expensive, good lord. Now, which ones? It seems like the outered ones get attacked the most. So we're gonna go to starboard. Ooh, 50 caliber ammo. I think the mid upper turret, oh, it already is 50 cal, the ventral, I do want an ammo feed. I want this one. 1400. We're not gonna get that anytime soon. Damage per second, but the ammo per belt is less. So they're gonna have to be running to get ammo a little bit more. And it stinks that the nose turret doesn't get an ammo feed because that's the one that needs it the most. All right, we upgraded that. Let's go to uh, the fuselage and see where we could upgrade some things. I want an armored. Ooh, kind of expensive. Everything's what armored threes and twos. I think the tail could be Upgraded a little bit more. The only thing I can really do here is upgrade the electrical system, but we don't have enough money for that Do we want an inflatable dinghy? Do we want the homing pigeon? We can't afford either. We've got the homing pigeon mark one This is in case the plane goes down. Let's go ahead and yeah, we're gonna just get this mission out of the way I'll skip all the uh you know, not as exciting pits. All right, so we've been doing lean here. We are over the channel right now, and I've got, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's go ahead and check the map. Where are we? Once we're about halfway over the channel, I'm an enemy spider spotted. Okay, what are these? Hopefully they're just Messerschmitts and not Fock Wolves. FW-190s are a lot more dangerous than the BF-109 Messerschmitts. They got a lot more ordnance, so hopefully, let's go ahead and get you focused. So you're able to Oh god. These are twin engines, boys. A BF-109 and Messerschmitts. Alright, let's- oh god. How are we doing? Oh, and I didn't do the freaking thing! I didn't do the thing, guys. Oh, there's some flak. How are we? Where are we doing? Oh, I need to- oh god, that's bad. Tag him and bag him, boys! Tag him and bag him! Oh, and there's the target. Alright. Front gunner, get on your position. Let's see what do we got. This factory isn't too far away. Whoa, 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 I don't want to select all of them. Let's go ahead and open the doors. Man, there's some police outside. They're like, Baron, you better hit that factory or we're gonna arrest you. All right, ooh, what is this? Seven seconds. Seven seconds of what? It's gonna be close. Holy goodness. What on earth was that? We gotta get out of here. This flak is ridiculous. Look at this. I've never seen this before in my life. All right, uh, we gotta close the doors. We gotta get out of here. Auto tag. There's Messer Schmitz everywhere. Take the photo. Oh God. Oh God. What are we doing? All right, I've, I need to get out of here. Oh my god, this is- this is scary. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, you reload. I mean, it's just insane. You don't have focus- oh god. Get on the med bay, son. Ah, uh, why is it inverted like this? Alright, how are we doing? Goodness, 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 goodness. Where are we- no, 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 no. Skirt the flak, skirt the flak, skirt the flak. We've got fires. Oh my god, we just lost the engine. Oh my god, well, hold up. This is real bad. This is real bad. I don't know, man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to return to base. This is... This was supposed to be a very simple mission. You've gotta repair... What do you have to repair? The electrical systems? Well, how are you doing, friend? Oh, you have no electricity. You have no electrical systems here. We have to slowly work our way out. Someone's out of ammo. This is... This is the most intention. Oh, God. Put the fire out. Fire's out. Good, good, good. Let's go ahead and heal you up a little bit. 
How are we doing? Just gotta return to base. There we go, finally. Alright, enemy fighters. You're out of ammo. This is bad. Boyle's getting wrecked. Benzie, get on the top. If you'd be so kind. Holy goodness. Benzie, get on the fuel. Boyle, get back to your station. You need to heal up. I, this was rough, boys. Incredibly so. Fuel's actually decent for, you know, all things considered. You should be fine, but I guess if there's no rush. Woo, that flak, that was some new stuff that we haven't seen before. That was much court, better coordinated. Where like basically they, they preempt where you're gonna be flying and all the flak predicts where you're gonna go and just bombards the area in front of you and you fly right through it. It's actually pretty cool. All right, we're coming in with only one engine and our right ones are blinking red. We did upgrade them a little bit just prior to going out, or at least some of the engines. That may have saved us, really. But the enemy flak is now lower in terms of its, you know, expected damage and expected, like, potency for the next mission, which is gonna be crucial because it is a major campaign mission. You can see the third one of what looks like eight total. And look at that, we did everything. Dusseldorf, Flak Shell, Factory Raid, Return to Base, no bonus time, uh, slow time, and we got the optional recon photos. The optional recon photos always give you so much money. It's like you almost have to do them if you want your plane to be super good. Well, heck yeah, look at this. Advanced first aid times two and then two boosts. What is this boost functionality? Oh, that's for uh, managing the fuel, okay. Quickly heal injuries on other conscious members of your crew. We need to use that because then if they're able to continue gunning and we can heal them while they're gunning, I don't know if that's possible, but it, it seems to me. Heavy flak vest mark one. We also need to do that for our rear gunner. Boyle is our top gunner. He's the one who's always shooting and needs to be shooting the most, right? So for your vest, let's get you a heavy flak vest right here. Your armor goes up to what, 68? Whereas this would be 68 too. So I actually want you to t have a tough and survival vest. It's worth it. And then Hill's the rear gunner. Oh, Hill, where- you have a light flak vest, Hill? No wonder. Let's get you the tough in survival. And then Checker is our front gunner, which ain't our bomber deer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you have a light- wow, light flak vest. We could give you a medium one, but you know what? We gotta- we gotta do this, man. Alright, we upgraded a few things. Engines, electrical systems, and a rack. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The enemy- there's gonna be an enemy ace in this area while we're doing Operation Chastise. We'll be knocking out a dam that supplies an enemy hydroelectric power station. To do this, we'll be dropping an experimental bouncing bomb. You'll be flying low and facing enemy AA guns. Give it your best shot. We did decrease the amount of flak fire that would be happening on this mission. We've just got to go with it. This is, this is it. This is for all the marbles, at least for this episode. So let's go ahead. Before we do that, everybody, everybody who's a gunner is going to rearm. That's right, so look at that, see? Even Bensie, you're doing it ahead of time. Good job, Bensie. Now, I'm actually kind of curious if we put you all the way back there. Oh, look at this, like, get rid of this. Who put that there? I guess that's structural integrity of the wing. So now if we run back, it should be three belts of ammo, right? Yep, perfect. All right, so we're gonna have you on the fuel for now. We're getting reports that an enemy ace pie, Gunner Gunta, is in the area. And there's our beautiful bouncing bomb. Let's go ahead and get to the pilot. Once we take off, we're going to be raising our gear. Gentlemen, Plainy McPlain Place, the flying American pig. Well, look at that with uh, the ace of spades here. Is going to be dominating the enemy power supply in a daring raid. So once we're about halfway over the channel, I like to radio for recon. But sometimes I get dropped on by enemy planes and I kind of get the timing off. But I feel like right when we're about there would be best. Because we'll get- we'll be able to get uh, intel on the enemy coastal installations. Okay, here we go, three enemy fighters. Hopefully they're Messerschmitts. No BF-110s. Oh, I guess Messerschmitt 109s as opposed to Messerschmitt 110s, right? So, ME 109s, very infamous German fighter of World War II. ME 110s, although the numbering- the numeral system only goes up by one, it's actually, you know, a twin-engine bomber, a lot more potent, pretty good at taking down enemy bombers and the like, like us. All right, where are these guys? Are they just, are they just unawares? Oh yeah, okay. So, 
Radio for recon. We don't need to auto tag. Let's go ahead and get you focused. Take these guys out as soon as possible. Focus should, uh, they look like? It's hard to tell what they are. Here they are coming in from the rear here. Nearby hazard located, added to the map. What do we got? Okay, we're flying through it. That's fine with me. Come on, boys. That one's on fire. They are Focke-Wolf 190s. AKA more potent. How are we doing? Did we scare them off? No, we did not. Rear gunner. Focus fire. There we go, there's one down. Oh, I, I added my nose gunner to have focus. Are we in the flak? We shouldn't be in the flak. Hold on, more fighters. Please be Messerschmitts. But remember, we've limited the number of flak that's gonna be hitting us. Go ahead and rearm. You're gonna need to rearm once that guy's back up. Ben C, I'm gonna have you on the guns. Come on, get that guy. Top gunner, what are you doing, man? He's freaking right there. He's like right on top of you. Good lord, this is an enemy airfield. What the heck? Where are we? We're flying over an enemy airfield. There we go. Flak is coming in from the right. I can hear it. Wow, there's the mission objective ahead of us. Wait. We're gonna fly around the flak just in case. No reason not to. What are these? There's only two of them. That's not good. The enemy ace has still not been sighted. Dang! Whoa, 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 whoa! This flak is just smacking our butts. These two fighters are just hanging out there. All right, what do we do? How are you on ammo? How are you on ammo? How are you on ammo? Here's the uh, bombing target. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, we're starting it at low altitude. All right, we gotta get to our bomber. We gotta remember that the little circles. Okay, this is it, guys. Drop the bomb when the targeting lights converge. Oh my God, we've actually got searchlights here. This is scary. This is scary. All right, there it is, boys. There it is. Come on, where are the lights? Not yet. Pull out of there, boy! Get on out! Check or get to the guns! Boom! Beautiful! Beautiful! All right, we gotta get out of here. We got to get the heck out of Dodge. Where are these fighters? I saw them pinged. I'm, oh God, who's this guy? This guy could be the ace. No, it's just a BF-109 though. I mean a uh, BF-110. Focus, focus, and you can't even focus. Come on, take that, take that guy out real fast. Look at that. Oh wait, is that a, that's not an, even a BF-110. It's a ME-410? Oh God, there's, wait, this could be him. No, oh my God. There's a lot of enemy planes, man. We just gotta get back to base though, we've done it. I hope the ace doesn't come now because then we won't be able to focus on them. We gotta make sure that we're not flying into enemy flak again. Who's got focused? Incendiary, launch it up, baby. Oh God, there he is. There's the ace. Guna Gunta, oh, somebody's dead. Heal him up, boy. Jeez. This is bad, this is bad. All right, nose gunner, nose gunner, nose gunner, focus fire. We're healing him up. Oh God, we've gotta get uh, you. The engine needs repairs. Ben C, you've gotta get out there and you just gotta do it. This is a daring thing, man. All right, uh, let's go ahead and make sure we're heading the right way. We've got the engines broken, but we can repair it. I'm not even gonna focus on the enemy fighters just now. I just gotta make sure Gunner's dealt with. Is Gunner dead? Someone just crashed. Did he die? Did we take him out? Look at this! Frickin' everywhere! Bensi, get back inside, buddy. How are you doing on bullets? You're doing fine. We're gonna make it back. I think we even took out Gunner. How are you doing on ammo? Oh my god, you're you're burning through it fast, but wait, whoa, whoa, there's this flak. Where's this flak coming from? Where's the flak coming from? Okay, engine needs to be repaired. We gotta put that fire out. I don't even know if we have it. Oh good, we have, ooh, that's crucial. Should be able to put that back. All right, do we need to auto tag these bad boys? Do I have the auto tag? Because I, I see enemy fighters coming in over here, just in duos. Whenever there's duos, I'm always fearful it's some big bad boys. 
All right, what's going on with the- Ooh, we lost the engine. What's going on with this? Approaching Zabruge. What's going on with our fuel? Oh. We've got to go lean. We've got to go lean. Nose gun is out. We're doing pretty good at knocking them out. We've lost an engine. We're low on fuel. But we've made it- We've almost made it across the channel. And there's nobody chasing us now. Okay, so we, we destroyed the enemy dam. And I believe, I dare say... What is this all about? Like, why are you blinking? I wish I could, like, hover over it and have a little bit more insight. I just think that means we're low. But, like, do I need to repair that? These things are ticking down. Seemingly scarily close, but we're... I know that we need to do an emergency landing before fuel goes out. Let's go ahead and check the map. We should be able to land in time. Holy crap, we did it. I mean... You know, almost, anyway. How is fuel doing? Fuel should be fine, but even still, I don't want to lower my gear just yet. It would increase the drag on the plane, and I don't know if this blinking lights mean there's a leak, or it's just that it's kind of below 25% fuel left. I don't know. We're gonna keep this safe. Everybody on here is incredibly valuable to me. These guys, we fought together many battles. This, I think we've done 28 total missions. Granted, I guess that's total, right? So one of the crews probably did a good 10 of them. Approaching London now, huh? Let's lower the gear. All right, check the fuel. Should be fine. Yeah, we're coming in right now for the descent here. We're gonna speed it up. I cannot believe, we've done it, guys. We've done it. We've destroyed the hydroelectric jam. We've done one of the key missions. I even think we took out Gunner. I didn't go for that extra photo. Not, no sorry, Bob. Not when there's an enemy ace out and it's a critical mission. We just gotta get everybody back home. You know, we can, you do the photos on the grindy, you know, milk run missions, but not this one. Nope, nope, nope. Operation Chastise. Woo, Gunner. Did we get you or did you peel off? Ah, you escaped, I thought so, because it would've, it would've let us know. We got, I think we got him pretty close and if there wasn't so much going on and so many enemy fighters, we would've been able to take him out. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. let me know Woo! What we should call the plane, how we should upgrade it, what kind of missions we should be wary of. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Oh, we got a new skill. Two new skills for the uh, engineering secondaries here. Um, conserve fuel. Fantastic, fantastic. We open up some new things, some fuselage and some engines. We also got, ooh, here we go. 303 times 4 Mark 3s. That's good. All right, what do we got? What's the next key mission? Uh, we can do sub hunts, ammo dumps. Resistance. Ooh, an airfield raid. That would be freaking cool. Let me know if we should do the airfield raid in the next one. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Bomber Crew. My name is Baron. Baron's Brigade, where are you at? And I will see you guys in the next video.